You know, your rival university has been after me. It would serve you right if I went over to them. Do you think they'll want you when I publish young Spencer's suicide note? What? He names you as the man who drove him to it. You wouldn't dare publish it. I am going. And uh, don't bother to write out a resignation. You're discharged from a faculty. Dishonorably discharged. Good thing. When would you dare? Oh, you fool, you stupid fool. You imagine I won't have my revenge for this? That I haven't plotted it already? Come in, Black, come in, hurry. Bring Anton, I must get to work. Is it really true? Winwood has, has discharged you? Yes. yes, but he can't. It's outrageous. It's impossible. Yeah, that's right, Bragg. Absolute belief in me is what I need right now. You and I will show these academic fools that they can't insult Philip Salima. Well, that would be wonderful, but, but how will you do it? I've been carrying out certain experiments secretly. Now we will find a use for my research and put it into practical chemistry. Oh, I don't understand. I mean to make a change, a slight change in the graduation exercises in the chapel tomorrow. As a warning for those who insult me. Well, what are you going to do, Professor? Plant a bomb in the basement. Time to explode as President Winwood is giving out his precious degrees. Oh, a hundred percent. But you can't. That, that's murder. What of it? It's going to be done. And you will help me. No, no I won't. I, I can't. What murder? Let me out of here. Anton! Anton, stand away from the door! No chance, Bragg. Anton cannot hear, and he knows I don't want you to get away. He has braced himself against the door. You'll stay and help me with my plan. You can't get away. I can, I must! Even if I have to jump out this window! Bragg, Bragg. You can't stop me! Anton. I torn through the window. I must signal Anton along this wall. To chase Bragg and bring him back. Anton understands, as he always does. He'll bring him back, and when he does, I can put my scheme of revenge into operation. Good evening, Dr. Winwood. Why, Lamont Clanton, my dear boy, I'm delighted to see you. Margot, may I present Dr. Winwood, the President University in the I'm very pleased. Thank you, Doctor. Well, this is the first glimpse I've ever had of Lamont's alma mater. I hope you approve. Oh, yes. You know, Dr. Winwood, Lamont's especially anxious to see Professor Kalima. He has? Uh, no, uh, he isn't. But surely he'll come to your wife's reception. I believe not, Lamont. Oh, I'm sorry. Perhaps he's keeping open house himself. Margot, we might drop in there later. Well, that would be nice. I don't believe I would, Lamont. There are special reasons. You see, well, I'd, I'd better not go into that. Dr. Winwood, anything special happened to Professor Kalima? As a matter of fact, Lamont, he's been thrown off the faculty. Oh, no. But why? For a pretty good reason, my boy. We know that Kalima is responsible for young Spencer's suicide. That's not possible. Please explain. I must take the time now. Lamont, won't you trust our judgment? Tomorrow, perhaps, after the exercises, we can talk it over. Uh, please excuse me now. Lamont, what is this mystery? Oh, it's a mistake. Come along quickly. Wait, Lamont, where are we going? To see Kalima, to offer him my help. No answer, Lamont. The house must be empty. Oh, there's a light in Kalima's study. I'll try again. Did you hear that voice? Yes, Professor Kalima. Why doesn't he come? Those must be out. Remember, Kalima can't move alone. Oh, I see. Let's go in. Yes, the door's unlocked. Who's there? An old friend, Professor. A friend? I'm coming in. Come along, Margot. What do you wish of me? Professor, I've come to... Don't you remember me... Lamont Cranston. This is my friend, Margot Lane. What do you want? I wanted to see you, to talk with you. Perhaps... Professor Kalima, perhaps I can help you. I don't need help. It is the world that needs help now. Now that it is there to defy me. Yes, I don't understand. How could you understand? I've heard you're in trouble and you're here alone. Why did your servant leave you this way? He's carrying out an order for me. I wish I could see old Mac again. Mac is not with me now. I have a better servant, than Tone. You could hardly find a better man than Mac, Ah, oh, but I have a much better one. You see, Anton is a deaf mute. A deaf mute? Yes, young lady. He cannot speak a word. That means my secrets are all safe with him. And he's very strong and obedient. But how can you speak to him, Professor? Oh, you would be amused by that, Cranston. 
You always liked your oddities? If Anton is beside me, I tap a message into the palm of his hand. If he's across the table, he puts out his palm, puts it down, and feels me tapping like this. Or even if Anton is leaning against a wall, and I tap on it, he understands my message. Very clever and convenient. No, oh, but that's nothing. I've grown much cleverer since you knew me, Cranston. I am now wiser than all the rest of mankind put together. Since they defy me, I'm going to punish them. Tell me all about this punishment you're planning. No, no, my friend. I'm not to be led into a trap that easily. If you wish to escape, take this pretty girl with you and go run away before it's too late. No, I, I can't do that. I won't. Then stay, you fool, and see what happens to you. Once, once I felt a silly affection for you, but there's no room for affection in the world, I'm going to rule. Go. Go quickly, go. The Marquis. Yes, Professor Gulliam, I see that we must obey you. We shall go immediately. If you command. That's wise. That's very wise. You are always the shortest of my pupils. Now go, go and close the door up. But Gulliam's mind is gone. Gulliam's genius has twisted his mind into dangerous channels. It's lucky he can't move, can't harm anyone. I'm not so sure. His method in this madness. It's up to mischief, and I must find out what his plan is. I must. But how? How can you? By staying with him. Not leaving this house until I learn his plot. He's driven you away once. He'll do it again. No, Margot, because I'm going back to him later as the shadow. <laughs> I thought Anton would catch you. Let go of me, Anton. Let go of me. Get here, Make you him guys. let me go. Professor Kalima, why don't you leave me alone? Because, my friend, you are the only one who knows just what I intend to do. I have no desire that my plan should be disclosed to let anyone. Let go. I won't tell anyone. I'm I'm sure you won't. You won't have the chance. <laughs> Make him stop. He's hurting my arm. You must expect Anton to be a little annoyed. That you brag after all. He's been chasing you all night. Stop pounding me. Don't be hysterical, brag. <laughs> Now that you're close enough, I would tap on Anton's hand and tell him to release you. Oh, oh. That's it. Oh, that's better. There, now you're free. Professor, Professor, you must give up this wild idea. Give up my revenge. Don't be childish. But to kill all those people, you, you have nothing against them. You, you don't even know most of them. That is not important. My purpose is to ruin this college. When I'm finished, they'll regret the insult they've given me. Yes, but hundreds of people will die, Professor. How can you sit there so calmly? Yeah, a little of that calmness might help you, Brad. If you get excited, you might attempt to run away again, and that would be most unfortunate. Oh, what do you mean? The next time, Anton will not fetch you back. When he finds you and he never fails, he will have orders to kill. Kill? Oh, no, Professor. I, I won't run. Honestly, that I... That is wise, my friend. Professor, but I've been your friend. Your assistant. I, I know you're a great man, but... Isn't there there's some other way of punishing your enemies? My way is best, Brad. We will not discuss the question. Another word and I'll have Anton quiet. No, 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 no don't do that. Yeah, don't don't do be that. alarmed. I'm only tapping Anton to tell him to pick me up. Oh. Uh, you see how easily he carries me, Brad? Anton is very strong. He could snap your neck in a moment. Yes, yes I know that. Yeah, we're going to lock you in here, Brad. Anton and I will be back shortly. And don't try going out the window. Anton will be watching that from upstairs. Good evening. Wait. Oh, what are going to do? I can tell you, Mr. Bragg. Who, who spoke? I did, Mr. Bragg. Yes, but there's no one here except me. The room's empty. No, I am here. You're in the shadows, Mr. Bragg. I've been here all along. Well, then, and you heard. You, you know the plot. You're... Not all of it. Tell me, what is this plan of Philip Kulima's? No, oh, no, I can't tell Don't you. Don't be I... afraid. Even if you can't see me, I'm here to help you. Believe me. I can't tell you. It's too terrible. What I... is terrible? Kulima's plan. Oh, no, I can't tell. Anton would kill me. Kulima will make him do it. I can... Mr. Bragg, you must tell me. What is Philip Kulima planning to do? No, no, you're all hounding me. Stop Bragg, it. Bragg, you must tell me. You spoke of death, of hundreds dying. You want those deaths on your conscience? No, no, I Then don't. speak, then. Who will die? What is Kulima planning? Oh, There's no time to waste. Remember, only you can save hundreds of lives. You must tell me. Yes, yes I'll tell. I'll tell. Good. It's the chapel. Kulima is planning to blow up the chapel. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, yes. During the commencement exercises, he has the bomb already. You must stop him. Don't worry, I shall. But we're 
locked up here. How can you... Hush, hush. Back. Back. Who are you talking to? Who's in this room, boy? The truth? Or do you want Anton to force it out of you? No, no. Well, 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 there there was a man here, but... But you can't see him. And you can't see him.
That is why I locked the door. Meaning? Simply that I have the key, my friend. And you shall never leave this room beneath the chapel. Nonsense, Professor. I know you too well to worry about that. Your life is very precious to you. You have no intention of losing it in this explosion. There is no necessity, Shadow. I shall be far away when those fools upstairs are smashed into eternity. When you leave, I shall simply shut off the bomb. You are mistaken there, Shadow. When I leave, you will be dead. I am going to tell Anton to kill you. That's a silly friend. How can your servant kill what he cannot see? I have thought of that. And when I throw this light switch, so <laughs> the room is dark in the shadow. Can Anton see any better in the darkness than I can? He does not have to see better, Shadow. But Anton will be able to see as well as you. You will not see him and your being invisible will not help you. Your trick will not frighten Anton now. No. No, Shadow. Anton will find you. And with his strength, he will break you like a snap stick. Don't be so sure, Kalima. Ah, I have planned it well, Shadow. The door is locked. You cannot escape. The room is tiny. Anton is bound to catch you. Others have tried to trap the shadow. But I have done it. <laughs> you hear me tapping on Anton's hand? I'm telling him there is a man here in the darkness ordering him to search for you, Shadow. To put me down and kill my enemy. <laughs> Anton is very angry with you, Shadow. You hear, Shadow? I hear. I've been very clever, Shadow. Anton has placed me in the middle of the room so that I shan't get in the way of his groping for you. There. There. He started his search. Come and guard you, Shadow. Do you think so, Kolima? Thank you for speaking, Shadow. I have pushed that tone toward the sound of your voice. <laughs> Did you hear him coming toward you, Shadow? That tone will find you, and then you will die. If that bomb goes off, we will all be killed. There is plenty of time. You will not talk long with Anton's fingers around your throat. Your man is rather slow, Kolima. Slow, Shadow, but sure. Nothing can save you. Nothing? Ah, there. He has reached the wall. Now, Shadow, he will hurt you back into your corner. It is not over yet. Are you prepared to die, Shadow? Listen, Shadow. He's moving along the wall. And now, Professor, it's the Shadow's turn to play. Play? You're helpless. Not quite, Quilima. Here is a trick I learned from you. Listen, Professor, do you recognize this? That's, that's my call! Yes, Professor. Anton is touching the wall and he can feel the vibrations. I tap out instructions like you do. I'm talking to him now. No, Anton, don't listen. That's, it's not so master. Anton can't hear you, Kalima. Remember, he's a deaf mute. But he will pay attention to my signal, especially when I tell him that he's in a room with a time bomb. Anton! Oh, if I could only reach the wall. You're in the middle of the room, Kolima, and you're helpless. You can't move unless someone carries you. It's dark, and I don't can't see you either. I, 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 I can crawl. I must reach the wall. Too late, Kolima. Anton is afraid. Anton, let go of back. It's a trick. He can't hear you, Kolima. He smashed the door down. He's gone, Professor. Oh, go on, Anton's left me. I am helpless. Yes, Professor, helpless. Now I'll take this bomb away. Stop, give me that bomb. No, Professor, I have it.
don't know. <laughs> All the characters and all the places named are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental.